join me i am back each one of my workouts is 30 minutes and shorter and it is meant for all levels depending um all levels of fitness so whether you're a beginner advanced or somewhere in between there's something here for you all right with that said let's get going we are going to do a countertop workout as you can see, my kitchen is very narrow, but uh, I'm going to work with it. So if you do not have a countertop, you can do this using a desk, a dresser, table. You just want to make sure that whatever you are using um, is nice and sturdy and will not move on you. All right. Okay. With that said, let's get it going. All right. Um, we are going to be doing the countertop workout. Like I said, we will be in a plank position. If you are short, we um, I'm very short, I'm only five feet, uh, we have to go up on our toes. If you are taller, you guys can be flat feet. It's totally fine, whatever works for you. We're going to start nice and wide like this with our hands. So get in position, get in a plank position. All right, hips are down, stomachs are nice and tight. Make sure that butt's not like this, okay? I don't want you guys like this, okay? Don't be like that. You want to be nice and straight as possible. All right, you guys ready? We're just going to go down for push-ups, nice and simple. Let's just start here. You're going to go down. One. Now, you want to make sure you're level with your chest when you go down, all right? That's five. Now, if you can't go down all the way, that's okay. So if this is all you got, hey, it's a good start. Just keep it going and try to do what you can. All right, you guys, we have three more. Three, two, last one, and one. Nice. Staying in this position, we're gonna open up our toes just a little bit. I'm gonna go back more into a plank position. Now, what we're going to do, make sure that stomach's in nice and tight again. You don't wanna be blowing out or anything like that. You wanna be nice and tight and nice and straight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna point our toe to the side here. So I'm bringing it in front, I'm crossing over and I'm crossing here. And then we're going to pull back with our knee. We're going to cross over and then pull back with our knee. Right like that. Are you guys ready? I don't know why I had you go here. <laughs> I've already screwed up. <laughs> All right, you guys. You're going to cross over your standing leg. Let's just start over. All right. We're going to cross over our standing leg. We're up on our toe on this one. Okay. Our toe is pointed in front. And now I'm twisting my body. What I'm gonna do is when I lift up my knee, I'm twisting towards it. And then I'm right back here. So I'm twisting this area to really work that core along with that leg. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. We're gonna do 10 on each side. So right here, ready? One, two, three, four, five. I feel like a ballerina. Six, seven, definitely don't have the height for one. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Awesome job, guys. Now let's go do the other side. So cross that leg over the other one, toes pointed the whole time. And when you come up, you see how I'm twisting, I'm opening, and then I'm down. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, stomachs and tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Woo, I don't know about you guys, I totally felt that there. Let me know if you did down in the comments, because woo, is it just me? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, you guys, our arms are gonna go closer together, so I have them this close. We're gonna be working the tricep along with our lower abs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that plank position. Our hands are nice and close. We're just going to go down right here. And then we're going to go knee, knee, back up. All right, that's it. So you're not going all the way down. So I don't want you down here. Okay, not yet, not yet. So it's just halfway. So my elbows are even with my uh, rib cage. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. You're going to go down just right here. One, two, back up. Down, one, two, back up. Down, one, two, up. Down, one, two, up. 
down. One, two. Woo. Here we go. Nice job, guys. Stomach's in tight. Don't get fatigued on me. I mean, I know you're getting fatigued, but keep it going. Don't stop on me. Up, up. Nice. Down. One, two. All right, you guys, we have four more. Here we go. We got this. I'm right here with you. I'm already sweating. Woo. Two more. Down. One, two. Up, down. One, two, and up. Nice. Woo, nice job. I just had this thought. Let me try this light on. I should have tried that before. I don't know if it makes any difference for you guys, if you guys can see me very much or not. Oh, I'll just leave it on. Anyway, next move. All right. So we're going to go back wide. We're going to do push aways. Now, if you've done my workouts before, you might be familiar with these. This one, whether you're short or tall, we're both, we're all going to be flat on our feet. And what we're going to do is we're going to fall into our countertop, right like this, into a push up. We're going to push away and then push our arms back. All right, you guys ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, my shirt looks funny on the camera, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Awesome job, guys. All right, the next one we're going to do is working that tricep again, but this time we're going to go all the way down and we're going to kick our legs back. So you know how we went halfway and we brought our knees up? This time, hands are going to be this close together again, okay? So we're right here. We're up on our toes, if you're short, all right? We're going to go all the way down, kick it up, kick it up, and then back, all right? You guys ready? Here we go. Down, one, two, up. And we're not lifting that high, and it's not just because I have a narrow spice. I just really want you to concentrate on the lower part of that booty. Nice, down, kick it, kick it, up, good. Now if you have a super narrow spot like me, here's an idea for us, okay? Right here, go out to the side a little bit. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I just came up with that one. <laughs> but actually, ooh, that works really good for those saddlebag area. So if you guys like struggle with this area, that's actually really good. You guys can do that out to the side just a little bit though. Still don't want you to lift up crazy stuff, just a little. And then up, nice, up, up, good. Stomach's in nice and tall, tight, <laughs> nice and tall. Uh, nice and tight. Yep. I'm back. I still don't know my wording. I mess up. One more, guys. Down. Up. Up. And out. Nice. Shake that out. Get yourself a water break. We're going to do another round. And uh, it's going to be fun. How are you guys doing? You hanging in there with me? All right. Let's do this. Round two, we're just doing those wide push-ups. So remember, you're nice and wide on your countertop right here. Are you ready? Feet are back. Give me 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, modifications right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nice, stay up on your feet. We're crossing over that leg, toe is pointed, and open and bring it up with the knee. One, two, this one works your abs, guys, so good. Make sure your stomach's in nice and tight, really concentrating on it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine one more ten awesome other side you guys ready cross over point that toe and open one two now if you can't open as wide as me even just doing this this is a good one too okay just still open up those hips 
you're still opening, you're still crossing. If you can lift up, awesome. If not, that's still awesome too. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, we're doing the tricep ones. We're doing the ones where you're gonna go down just a little bit and you're gonna alternate those knees and then repeat. All right, you guys. All right, get those arms close and up on those toes. Stomachs in tight. Here we go. Down just a little. One, two, and up. Down. One, two. Now, if this is too hard to bring up those feet, here's what you guys do. Tap it, tap it, up, down, tap it, tap it, up, down, tap, tap. That's just as good as bringing up these knees. All right? And if you're not to the knee or tap, just simply do this. It's just as good. Let's do two more. We're down, up, up. Nice, down, up, and up. Awesome job, guys. All right, we're doing those pushaways. Remember when you push um, into it, you're nice and wide, okay? And you're gonna go down to chest level. All right, you guys ready? Make sure you're flat on your feet. Okay, and again with this, just do what you can. If you can't do all 10, that's okay. All right, just go at your pace. You guys ready? And here we go. One, two, I had to move up a little bit because I was not going to my chest. You want to make sure you're falling down into that chest area and you're pushing back behind you, right like that. Nice job, guys. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right, our last tricep move. This is the one where we're going to go all the way down and we kick those legs back behind us. Um, remember, we're not kicking far. And if you are on a uh, very narrow a space like me, kick them off to the side, but don't go up too high. Or if you struggle with that saddlebag area right here, it's also a good one, whether you have the space or not. All right, you guys ready? Get your hands together. Let's go up on our toes, and here we go. Go down, kick it up, kick it up, all the way up. Down, kick it up, kick it up, and <laughs> I keep kicking mine. Or out to the side. Woo! Down, out to the side. Up, all the way down, out to the side. Nice. Keep it going, out, out, woo! Down, out, out. Nice job. Make sure you're breathing. Keep it breathing. Nice. Kicking it back for those who are doing that. Remember, we're not lifting up high. It's just a little bit. Just get that lower booty or saddlebag area. All right, one more. Here we go. Down. Woo. And done. Woohoo. Oh, these knees are, rest my wrist. Rest your wrist, get a drink. We got round three, guys. You're doing awesome. It is hard on my wrist. If it's hard on your wrist too, put your um, knuckles together like this and hold it. Nice. And then the other way, like this, and then do circles one way and then the other way. It does do a number on my wrist as well. Um, I kind of play around with my, um, just for those of you who also have uh, weak wrists as I do, I have really bad arthritis. I've had juvenile arthritis since I was about nine or so. So arthritis is all throughout my body. So I get you people who are in pain with me. So what I do is I kind of play around with my um, position. I can't be in this position too long like that, so I kind of put my hand up here, but I make sure it's nice and stable, that'll hold me. Sometimes I'll put a towel up here so I can hold it a little bit different. Sometimes I'll go to the side, I'll go down. Down hurts me more, but some people it doesn't, so you can always give that a try um, for those of you who have that issue as well. Enough talk, round three, here we go. Nice and wide push-ups. all right? Up on those toes. Nice and wide, 
Stomach's in tight, butt's not out like this. Just down normal, nice straight line. All right, you guys, here we go. Go down to the chest area, if you can. One, two, three. Modification, right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Awesome. All right. Next one is that leg crossing with the knee. Now I get, I should have told you guys this in round one. I apologize. The modification for that one, if you can't twist like that, you just come up and open. I wanted to show you uh, facing forward so you can kind of see that a little bit better. All right. You guys ready? Get up on those toes if you're short like me. Ready? Cross it over and let's go. Bring it up. One two, three, four, five, six, modification, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, awesome job, other side, cross over, point that toe for me, here we go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, modification, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Awesome job, guys. All right, we got those tricep, so you're gonna be nice and close. Remember, this is the one we just go down just a little bit, not all the way, and we're bringing up those alternating knees. Again, for modification people, I'm just gonna put my arms like this so you can see. If you can't do this, Tap it forward, okay? All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do this. Get your hands together. Go down just a little bit, knees. Nice, down, one, two, up, down, one, two, up, down, one, two, up, down, one, two, nice. Modification, Woo, works just as good, guys. Stomach's in nice and tight. Now, some of you can't even do any legs, and that's okay, just hold here, and then come right back up when we do. All right, still hold it, and then come right back up. Nice job, we have four more, guys. Modification, modification. All right, last two, I'm gonna do the regulars. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Nice. Woo! All right. I'm going to roll out my wrist. We have those pushaways now. Remember, when you push down into it, you're nice and wide, level with your chest. All right? When you come up, push back behind you. All right, you guys. Flat feet. I'm going to go a little bit closer. You can see me. You guys ready? All right. My shirt keeps bumbling up. Okay. Here we go. We're not here to look at your shirt, sorry. We're here to get the workout. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and ten. Awesome. Woo! All right, you guys, we have one more move, and then we're gonna stretch, all right? You can do it. We got the triceps. We're going all the way down, okay? And we're kicking behind us, all right? If you have a narrow space like me, or you, you, you struggle with this area, the I think they call it the saddlebag area, right? We're gonna go out to the side if you struggle with that, or just lift up a little bit behind you, okay? You're not going up that much, it's just a little bit. All right, you guys ready? Hands close together. Awesome, let's do this. Go all the way down. Kick it, kick it, and up. Down, kick, kick, up. Down, kick, kick. All right, modification, just hold. And then down. Now, if you can't go all the way, I just want you to go right here and then try to do those kicks. And if you still can't do the kicks and go all the way down, I just want you to hold it here then. All right? Sound good? All right. 
for those of us with narrow spaces or say saddlebag area, trouble area, there you go, out to the side. You're still not lifting up that much. All right, we have four more. We're going down, cross it out. Three more. Last two. Last one. Woo! Nice job, guys. Woo, I'm super proud of you. How did that feel? Huh? Nice and easy, working out those arms. All right. If you got your drink, hopefully you are done. Let's stretch out. First, let's stretch out our wrists. Put your knuckles together like this for me and gently push them together. All right, just nice and slow. Nothing too crazy. Nice. And now, up in prayer position, pushing them together just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Nice, and release. All right. I want you to slowly rise your hand up while turning your wrist nice and up. And I want you to just reach. This arm's gonna reach down. This one's gonna reach over and just hold. Slowly bring that one down. Now the other hand, little wrist circles while raising it up. Nice and slow. Hold it and push it down and out and up and over. Holding that and slowly come out of it. Both hands behind you, shoulders back, chest out, head goes back and my hands are down. So I'm pushing them down right like this and I'm back. Hold. and release from there. Now, my hands are gonna to go together and I'm pushing forward, dropping my head, but here's a side view. I'm only curving my upper back. So I'm not, I'm not like this, all right? It's just my upper back. And release. Nice job, guys. All right, have your hands on the counter, one leg back this one in front. I want you to kind of like you're pushing that counter forward, getting that heel down to the ground as much as you can back there. Nice. Straighten that front leg for me. Opposite hand's gonna come down and cross over. And this one, this arm is just gonna come up here. And just relax. Drop your head down into your armpit area. Nice, slowly come up, holding both legs still straight, and I want you to push back. Drop that head. And slowly come out of it. All right, let's switch sides. This heels down, this is in front, and push in. Like you're pushing that counter away from you while getting that heel down to the ground. Straighten that front leg. Opposite arm is gonna go down and across. Make sure this one lays flat. I want you to get that head down into that armpit area if you can, and just really reach and cross over. Keeping both legs straight. Ooh, I feel that stretch. Nice job, guys. Slowly come out of that, but keep both legs straight. All right, we're gonna be right here. We're leaning back again, dropping our heads back. Slowly come up and out. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna go knee to knee, so grab that foot. Now, if you're not able to grab your foot, you can always grab, if you're wearing pants, your pants or a shoe or a sock or whatever, or sometimes you can even use like a chair or a stool and put your leg up on that. We're gonna go knee to knee and hold. Nice job, release that side. Let's do the other one. Knee to knee. And 
and release. Nice job, guys. I like to end all my workouts with a nice calming breathing technique. We're gonna raise our arms nice and slow up, breathing in our nose nice and long. We're gonna hold on top. Then we're gonna slowly bring them down in front, exhaling out of our mouth. Because I have my counter here, I'm gonna start up right here. You guys ready? So if you're in a narrow spot and you can't move, just raise your hands up just a little bit. You guys ready? Here we go, inhale. Hold, exhale. Again, inhale. Hold, exhale. One more time, inhale. Awesome job, guys. I am super proud of you. Please click that like button, hit that smash um, subscribe button if you haven't already, and come back to me. I know I'm not fancy. I ain't got all the special equipment, but I do have great workouts for you that will make you burn. Oh, let's see how much we did burn today, actually. Oh, we burned about 335 calories just doing that simple and effective. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just called that simple. My arms are sore, but effective um, countertop workout. All right, you guys have a great one. Peace out from Illinois.